Pyrocat. Actually I wanted to make Pyrocat HD but I have no phenodone on hand. Only metal. So, Pyrocat M will be. There's a link to the original formula in the description. You'll need two 1 liter containers, preferably made of glass, but for the moment, anything will do. Also a scale will come handy. And a stirring rod or something like that. I used a coffee spoon. And chemicals. And, most important, gloves. I mean it, don't start without wearing gloves, pyrocatechol is pretty nasty shit. Back to chemicals. The Pyrocat M formula requires for start 10 grams of sodium metabilsophite dissolved in 750 milliliters distilled water. Stir until fully dissolved. Next, the star of the show, pyrocatechine. A lot. 50 grams. Luckily, it easily dissolves in water. 2.5 grams of metal is used as a second developer. It is super additive with pyrocat but not so much as phenodone. Dissolving metal in water is a pain in the ass, but adding it after the sulfite greatly improves its solubility. Even though Sandy King don't recommend using bromide as a restrainer, I added it anyway. Just a pinch, 0.5 grams. It is funny that its purpose is to lower the base fog and extend the developing time but what doesn't fix is a negative fog by stupidity, when loading it into the film holder. You'll see what I mean soon. In the end I've also added 3 or 4 grams of ascorbic acid, yes, vitamin C. Don't know exactly why, probably I was thinking it will act as an antioxidant. After everything is fully dissolved, I topped up the water to 1 liter and transfer the liquid to its container. As soon as I'll find a glass bottle I'll move the developer in that. The gentle squeeze is applied to remove as much air as possible and I almost always use this technique when dealing with developers. Another trick is to fill the bottle with glass beads, if you have them around. The second solution consists of only one chemical. A tone of potassium carbonate. Okay, not a tone, but 750 grams. Which is a lot of weighting on my small scale. After I've weighted 250 grams, disaster striked. The solution turned purple. Let me explain, in my infinite wisdom, I used mineral water, thinking that it will fizzle a bit with the carbonate and everything will be okay after that. Just use a bit more carbonate. As it turned out it was a big mistake. I had to discard the solution and start over. Luckily, no more waiting this time, I used all the remaining chemical, exactly 750 grams. Actually half of that, in half liter tap water. One free warning, dissolving potassium carbonate in water is a exothermic reaction, the solution will warm up considerably. Don't worry as I did. I left both containers overnight and the next day I start tweaking the working developer. I start with the recommended dilution, one part solution A, one part solution B and 100 parts water. Film was stand developed for 30 minutes. The result was garbage, I didn't scan it. Next, one part solution A, two part solution B, 50 parts water. Semi-stand development. Here it is. T-Max 400. Because 30 minutes seems too much for me, so I doubled the volume of solution A2 and cut the developing time to 15 minutes, with constant agitation. And I like what I get. Except the fogged film, but this has nothing to do with Pyrocat, it's just me acting stupid when loading the film. What I want to try next is to use Pyrocat as 2 bath developer, it should be interesting. Thank you for bearing till the end. Wink wink.